Questions are good. Keep questions coming. Obviously, make them appropriate, right? And make them useful. But we want you to be able to ask questions when you're curious about something, when you're unsure. If someone's told you, if you hear a rumor, don't believe everything you hear, right? Just because it's on the internet doesn't make it true. And just because your big brother said it doesn't make it true, right? Especially if your big brother said it. He's probably trying to mess with you. So bring those questions in. Ask your teachers. Ask you know the, the student leaders, the former student leaders, and so forth. All right, we, that's kind of why you're here. Part of it's the academic studies, but a lot of it is you becoming comfortable knowing how to make your way around the school and be successful, right? So the questions, when you got them, bring them. For now, let's move on a little bit. If you do have questions, please, we're not shutting down that you know possibility, but we are gonna move on to some stuff that I want you to look at. If you take a look around the room, on these sides in particular, you'll see these white poster boards. There are some pictures, and there are little yellow sticky notes stuck around the pictures, all right? The sticky notes are from the first class that came through, so you guys kind of get the benefit of seeing what some other people have already done. What I'm gonna ask you guys to do is a little gallery walk here, all right? You're gonna take a look at the pictures that you see on the wall, and then I'm gonna ask you to respond to them. But we're gonna give you some sticky notes, and you're gonna pull out a pen or pencil, all right? And I'm gonna ask you just to kind of take your time, Wander around, look at the pictures. You don't necessarily have to respond to every single one, but pick out a handful that really that kind of jump out, uh, catch your attention. All right, and then you're gonna write down a response on the sticky note, and you're just gonna stick it right up on the picture. Okay? Does anyone want to mention one picture that particularly stood out to you? Okay, the don't shoot. The, there's a picture, you guys see, all see that one? What? The young woman, she was holding a, sh a sign that said, don't shoot. Uh, what, why did that stand out to you, sir? Because we live in a neighborhood that has violence. Okay, we live in a neighborhood that has violence. Is, something, is that something that's relevant to you guys? Do you guys think about that? No. It has an effect on everybody, right? Violence does. You know, obviously the effect on the individual who's hurt or who dies, on the families, on the close friends, but even if you didn't know the person directly, the community itself is hurt, right? When you have people who can't, who can't function in school, right? Because of grief, because of pain, because of fear, right? Um, so that's really, I think, a serious issue. Whether or not you feel like it's a personal issue, is it something that Chicago deals with? Yeah. Gun violence, okay? Is it something that you'd be interested in changing if you could? How many of you would get rid of gun violence in Chicago if you had the power to do so? All right, I saw a lot of, I see a lot of hands. Okay. Um, I'm going to ask you guys just to think for yourselves for a minute and make a list of some of the things that you would like to change if you could. And you can be inspired by some of the images and ideas that we talked about here, or they could be things that are more personal. Right? Just a quick brainstorm list that we can come back to tomorrow. All right? What are some things you would change if you could?